Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to my February 2021 book haul. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not expecting to buy much in February because all the charity shops and stuff are closed. Uh, but I do allow myself to buy a certain number of books each month, and I have bought my first book for this month, which is uh, Asterix, La Serp d'Or, which is, I guess, the golden sickle? I don't know. Serp actually makes me think snake, but maybe it's not. Uh, this sticker here, Lette Gaulois, um, it, I presume it means Gaulish summer, as opposed to, like, Ete is, like, also past for was, you know? Anyway, some, uh, an, an edition anniversaire with 16 extra pages, and uh, this will go nicely in my stack of French books to read. So I'm probably going to switch over to reading this now. Oh, that's really cool, yeah. So it's got all this extra stuff about the authors and stuff. Uh, the Paris that they lived in, the city of Edifix. Oh, really cool. So I'm looking forward to reading that. Um, seeing as there's quite a few extra bits in it, like more in it than I thought, I was going to quickly whiz through this and then move on back to uh, Le Hobbit, but maybe I'll finish Le Hobbit because I'm already a third of the way through it. I don't know, we will see. But I'm glad to say this is here and it's on my French reading list. All right, guys, uh, just the one book to haul for you today, and that is The Tower of the Swallow by Andrzej Sapkowski. This is Witcher novel number four, and book number six in the series. I've sort of been slowly reading my way through these and enjoying them. I think what I might actually do is once I've finished reading the series, I think I'm going to um, find some people let's playing the games and watch the games played through. I'm actually currently watching a let's play of Legend of Lagaya, which is a cracking game. And, uh, oh, what's her name? Not raccoon, I thought raccoon before. It's an animal plays games. Rabbit, rabbit plays games. Good channel, I'm enjoying it. So yeah, anyway, Tower of uh, the Swallow. Hello everybody, um, I know I said that I probably wasn't gonna be getting many books in uh, February, but I was wrong, because I bought a job lot of Dr. Seuss books. So I'm gonna take you through them all now. We'll start with these ones. These are the ones that I'd already read, so these are just going straight on my eBay store. Uh, we have Dr. Seuss's Sleep Book, how the Grinch Stole Christmas, Fox in Socks, Green Eggs and Ham, The Cat in the Hat Comes Back, The Cat in the Hat, Scrambled Egg Super, Mr. Brown Can Moo Can You, If I Ran the Circus, The Sneetches and Other Stories, and finally Dr. Seuss's ABC. So those are all the ones that I've read. And then these ones here are all the ones that were new to me and I have already read all of these as well, but I'll go through the titles. Each of these received somewhere between a 3.5 and a 4 out of 5. So we have One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish, Hop on Pop, Horton Here's a Who, Hunches in Bunches, All the Places You'll Go, and to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street, uh, I had trouble in getting to Solosolu. If I ran the zoo, and uh, Dr. Seuss on the Loose, this latter of which was basically like a highlights collection. So yeah, those are all what I got in the post. Hello everybody, short but sweet haul today. Uh, I've got Giant's Bread by Agatha Christie, writing as Mary Westmacott. Uh, I guess I'll read you the blurb of this one. This is one of the, the novels that Christie wrote under her pseudonym. I think I've only got one more to read after this. Hello everybody, short but sweet haul today. Uh, I've got Giant's Bread by Agatha Christie, writing as Mary Westmacott. Uh, I guess I'll read you the blurb of this one. This is one of the, the novels that Christie wrote under her pseudonym. I think I've only got one more to read after this. A spellbinding novel of romantic obsession. Vernon Dare is a sensitive and brilliant musician, even a genius, but there is a high price to be paid for his talent, especially by his family and the two women in his life. His sheltered childhood in the home he loves has not prepared Vernon for the harsh reality of his adult years, and in order to write the greatest masterpiece of his life, he has to make a crucial decision with no time left to count the cost. Oh. All right, well anyway guys, that's what I got for my February book haul. There might be one or two things missing because I did lose some footage, but uh, it has also been quite a quiet month, what with pandemics and stuff. Uh, so we will see, we'll see whether uh, March is any different. But in the meantime, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot, bye bye.